Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artanian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. I try not to keep this too long for you. Uh, basically, we're back to Sol 554, which was actually an image taken in Gale Crater, mass cam image, taken uh, about two years ago now almost. Um, and just below this ridge line here, you have what looks like a carved head, a statue head, who looks very similar to this guy. This guy is called Pakal. Uh, he's known as Pakal the Great or King Pakal or Lord Pakal and was leader of the Mayans back in the early 7th, cent uh, 7th century from, uh, yeah he ruled for something like 80, well he lived about 80 years so, uh, and reigned for 68 years. Now he's also known as, what's he known as? The Palenque Astronaut. Now here's a picture of him uh, this is actually from Ancient Aliens, <laughs> and uh, this carving shows him inside a flying machine with some complex controls that he's using, and they've actually made a mock-up of it here, and you can see him inside this thing. Now this thing apparently flew, and uh, was a flying machine uh, of some sort, like a helicopter or some kind of spaceship or something like that, some kind of anti-gravity device, or it could have even been a time machine, don't really know. We really don't know. Now. What amazed me was when I found this particular image, which I'll show you now before I show you the rest of it. I'll show you this particular image, and it comes from this raw clip. Uh, raw, here's the raw image, sorry. And he's just here. I'll zoom in for you. Okay. So I took a clip of that. Let's get rid of that. Here's the clip, raw clip. I did some enhancements to clean up the image. Uh, and I've added some shadow there where I basically darkened the dark parts that are already dark to try and get some contrast into the image because these images are pretty poor and uh, you can now start to see that he's got teeth here, he's got a nose, he's got eyes, quite clear brow ridge there, a part of an ear here perhaps and an elongated narrow, narrow skull that looks like it was uh, squashed in cranial binding, which was actually quite common on Earth uh, around sort of about a thousand years ago, common in, in uh, places like Central and South America and also in Africa. And there are still some tribes that practice this today. Here's the last enhancement I've done. You can see this head here, it's very narrow, and this was probably a much more ornate headdress that was carved onto this. Okay. I'll have clips of all these in at the end of the video, like I normally do. I also There was also a black and white uh, image of him here, but there we go. That's the same spot, and actually in some ways that's slightly clearer. You can already see the teeth here without doing anything to that. I've just added a bit of contrast to that. So there I blurred it to get rid of that grid. So you can see the nose, you can see the eyes, you can see the mouth, you can see the ear just here. Okay. But because of the grid on it, I had to remove the grid and that sort of ruined a lot of the detail in the image. So there we go. I will put all these in at the end anyway, so you can pause it and have a really good look. It's also on the Gigapan as well. If you, if you look up uh, MSL554, you'll see this guy. There he is. So it's pretty clear. It's in the Gigapan as well. So... It's in lot, you can get this from many sources. I'm not making this up. This is actually on Mars, on the surface. A lot of people are trying to deny this stuff is on Mars, but it is. Uh, saying it isn't uh, is, is basically admitting you're, you're intellectually too immature to, to cope with the information you're seeing on the ground. And saying it's somewhere in the desert is just denying uh, what's actually going on. And... Not only does he look like this guy, Lord Pakal, here, but it very similar to this statue, which I found well over a year ago, about a year and a half ago now. This has been up on my YouTube for quite some time. Um, let's go back to the raw image there. Let's let that play through a little bit. There's the raw image. Very similar indeed. Look at the headdress. Look at the narrow skull. Uh, similar facial detail, although this is more... More, more of a sort of flat face this one uh, but this is damaged this is a damaged carving um, as most of these things are they're broken and damaged and, and uh, ruined a lot of them unfortunately but there we go 
that was pretty clear that one and looks extremely similar to Lord Bacall when you look at him here the, the headdress is almost the same the head shape is the same the facial features are very similar now did Lord Bacall come from Mars did his ancestors come from Mars did he even fly to Mars in this flying machine that he had it is possible uh, there are there are many many stories of some ancient kings and ancient priests having flying machines not just in uh, the Mayan culture but also in Egyptian culture there are many glyphs of flying machines uh, uh, there's the Abydos helicopter of course there's there's all sorts of uh, relief carvings and depictions and pictures of flying machines in ancient art going right back actually to to cavemen and and our ancient ancestors which go right back to 40 50 thousand years ago so whether these guys came from earth and went to mars or they were came from mars and visited earth who knows perhaps they did both and perhaps Bacal was one of these guys perhaps he was an actual, an actual ancient astronaut as is suggested in the ancient alien theory so there we go does this prove the ancient alien theory is correct? No. But it goes some way to, to actually bolster that theory, I think, because the similarities here are absolutely incredible. And I really cannot see how these cannot be related because the, 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 these carvings look so, so similar that, in fact, they look almost like they're done by the same person, which is impossible. Now, if, if they're not done by the same person they must be depicting the same person or persons maybe these people were related there is there does seem to be a, a very very strong resemblance here to these pieces of art uh, so there we go folks I'll have all the clips in in a minute so you can have a really good close-up look and pause the image and, and uh, do what you like thanks for watching everybody I'll see you soon